Hey everyone, uh, welcome to a kind of a revision of uh, the previous rope joint tutorial. Um, now it's not necessarily the right way to approach it, uh, saying that the last one was wrong. Uh, this is just a different way to create your rope joint, um, kind of utilizing two joints at once uh, to hopefully maintain that restrictive tension length of, uh, of an anchored rope. Um, Box2D hasn't ever really had a good implementation of ropes. You've always kind of had to build your own, and even then, uh, should a joint experience too much force, it will break. And so, um, hopefully this kind of rope, uh, if it is anchored in some way, uh, it'll allow you to retain the rope-like property without it breaking or experiencing any kind of weird, uh, physical phenomena that shouldn't be happening, um, that doesn't properly simulate what a real world rope would work or how a real world rope would work. Uh, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use both the rope joint and the revolute joint in order to create kind of a stronger rope. If it's, keep in mind, this is just tied to a fixed point. Um, you could probably implement it uh, in some other way, however, uh, I'm just going to use a fixed box like I use uh, the static box here. So we can kind of see from the previous video, we did have a, some sort of rope-like structure going on. Um, and you see there's all the chains and you can move the rope around and it'll swing back and forth and pretty basic, nothing too fancy going on there. Um, however, let's say you want a lot of segments, you want kind of a more whip object. Um, so I'm gonna shrink this size down uh, it's only going to be eight tall and four wide, so pretty thin uh, and not very tall. Uh, so we'll be able to get more segments out of it. It'll be a little bit of a shorter rope than we saw there, of course, but it'll be a much better looking rope. Um, so we're going to have to do a few modifications to the uh, previous tutorial that we had. Um, so because we changed the the height of that, and I actually should change the height of that one just because of the way we're doing this loop. Um, if you set it up differently, you wouldn't have to change this size. So just be aware, the only reason I have the static body the same height is because of how it's currently orienting everything else in this loop. So uh, just bear with me on that if uh, you're wondering why different setups don't work. Uh, so we want to change this to be a multiple of the current segment we're adding on to the rope as it goes through this loop, and that's going to be multiplying it by uh, 0.25f. And uh, that's because we're going to be keeping a total height of uh, 16 spaced between each segment of the rope. And then we also need to change these to 0.125 because now that the height is only eight, it's only, um, it's not a full meter, it's not a half meter anymore. The half width of the box uh, height wise is uh, only 0.125 of a meter now. And uh, next, like I said, we're going to be utilizing the revolute joint. And uh, let's, just, let's just call that, um, we already used R def. Uh, <laughs> so maybe we'll just call it J def. Uh, for joint definition or something, and then new revolute, oh boy, revolute joint def, okay, get that in there, and then that's just going to be j def dot body a is equal to bodies dot get i minus one, and then j def dot body b is equal to bodies dot get i, okay, and also I forgot to mention up here, we're changing that to have all the rope joints be set to zero. Um, and you'll see how that affects the way these are created in just a second. Uh, so j def dot, uh, what is it? So local anchors, we need to set those. So to set that to zero, and again, negative 0.125, and then j def dot local anchor b dot set to zero and negative 0.125 f. Okay, or I'm sorry, that shouldn't be negative. That should be positive. 
And I should probably move this back up here. I didn't realize I was carrying that down on the lines there. And then we got world.create joint, and that's just gonna be JDAF. So it's a pretty simple Revolut joint, nothing too fancy going on. It, what we're doing here, just to describe what, what I've changed, is all of the rope joints are going to be attached to each segment and the anchor. So when we do that, um, it it is telling every segment can only be a particular distance away from the uh, static body that it's anchored to. And um, the way we're connecting each segment to each other is by using these Revolute joints. As you, as you probably remember me saying from uh, last time, it is pretty much the same as the rope joint, uh, except it, it does have the potential to break. So um, let's say your rope gets cut or something, it'll have a realistic property there if it undergoes too much strain. So with that, uh, let's kind of run it and see what we get. There should be a pretty significant difference. I, I know a lot of these were kind of predetermined numbers, and um, but I wanted to show you guys the, the different structure you get. So you still get this like really nice kind of bouncy rope um, and it's pretty springy and it has a really good uh, momentum for the way like a real rope might work and uh, it, it's in my opinion it looks a lot nicer than the previous one we made in the other video um, and you can kind of see all these lines those are all the rope joints as, as you know uh, how joints appear in the box 3d debug renderer they appear as that light blue and um, you can kind of see how they're working. They, they're trying to keep that distance. Uh, they're maintaining it as the rope joint is uh, kind of dictated to do so. So um, that, that's generally what I wanted to show you guys. There's, uh, there's a lot of different ways you can go about building these ropes. Uh, the ropes are, are pretty tricky, though, just because of how BoxGD handles them. And it can be a little unforgiving to be able to keep them together because uh, joints tend to break under a lot of stress and as you can see you can still like phase through these it's just hard to maintain ropes but at the least you can get a pretty nice looking effect and you can add some stuff uh, like sensors on the end of these and whatnot and uh, get I don't know some interesting game functionality out of it so with that I hope you guys enjoyed this extra little tidbit information about creating uh, uh, like having a different approach to rope joints. So with that, uh, like, comment, subscribe as usual, and thank you for watching.